The Arch Gaming Network is proud to bring you this board game review. Now here's your host, Sean Smith. Hello, and thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to take a look at the game Lanterns, which was designed by Christopher Chung and published by Foxtrot Games and Renegade Studio Games. Lanterns was a Game of the Year nominee in a couple of categories in 2016. And in 2015, it was a Mensa Select winner. Which makes you wonder, why is this guy playing it? Lanterns is a set collection, tiling, hand management game where you're going to be taking these uh, colored late tiles, placing them in the center of the table, building up this lake full of lanterns. You're going to collect lantern cards so that you can turn those in as dedications to get victory points for the end of the game. So with those nomination and awards, how good is this game? Well, let's take a look at the setup, a walkthrough, and then I'll give you my thoughts on the other side. Okay, to set up lanterns, you're going to take this center card, it has the ship on it, and you're just going to place it in the center of the board. Now we're going to set up for four players here. We're going to assume that this is the first player, so he'll get the little ship here. Next, you're going to deal three of these lake cards to each player, face down, so that no one knows what you have. Next, you're going to take the lantern card, separate them by color and set those out. You then have the dedication tokens and you will set them up by color in descending order. Okay, we're set up for a four player game, but if we were playing with three players, we would remove all of these tokens that had four dots on them. And then if we were playing with two players, we would remove all those that have three or four dots. Okay, but since we're playing with four players, <laughs> Wah, wah. Okay, I've gone ahead and cleaned up my mess there from the dropsies. The remaining lake tiles you're just going to put in a draw pile to the side. And then, looking at this tile, you're going to give each player a lantern card based on the color that is facing them. So the first player is going to get a red, white, black, and blue. Okay, starting with the first player, you have up to three actions you can take during your turn. We also have these cheat sheets that tell you the turn sequence and also give you examples of how you do dedications. Now the first action, and it's an optional action, uh, this player can exchange two of these favor tokens along with one lantern card in exchange for any other lantern card in the deck. We'll talk about how to get favors in just a moment. The next thing you can do is turn in sets of these cards for a dedication. To do a dedication, you're trying to match the sets on these cards. So this one is a set of seven, one of each color. So if you have one of each color lantern cards, you can turn it in and grab the 10. Of course, the next player that goes and does the same thing is only going to get nine points. You also have three pairs. So let's say you turn in two red, two green, and two blue. You can turn those in as a dedication and take this token. Four of a kind. If any of these stacks run out, you have four generic tokens. So this can be played for either, you know, the seven of a kind, the three pairs, or four of a kind. Now the exchange and the dedication are optional. And when it comes to the dedication, 
you can only dedicate one set of cards per turn. The third action you can take, and it's mandatory, is to play a lake tile. So you have three to choose from. And you can take any of these tiles and play them on the board. I could just play right here just like this, like this, that. How, what, however I want to orient it, I can. I don't have to match up colors if I don't want to. However, if I do match a color, a couple of bonuses can take, will, will take place. These symbols in the middle of this card is called a platform. Some cards have them, some cards don't. This one does. When you match colors, these are two blues, and it includes a platform, you get a favor token. In addition to getting the favor token, you're also going to get a blue card because you matched two blue cards together. So you now have a blue card. Now, starting with the player who played the late tile, you will take the color that is facing you. So orange is facing player. Blue is facing this player. White facing that player. Yellow facing that player. It's important that you take cards in clockwise order because if this stack runs out of cards, you're out of luck and you don't get your colored card for that round. So now let's say uh, the next player plays this card. Once again, matching two whites. So this player who played it will, will get a white card and it had a platform. So you get a favor token, but there's another favor token. So because there are two and the colors match, you get one for every platform that you had connected. And now again, starting with the player who laid the lake tile, a blue card would come here because blue's facing this direction. Black would go there, blue there, and a white card would come over here. I forgot to mention, then at the end of your turn, you'll draw another lake tile and so that you always have three lake tiles. Okay, let's say it's back to this player's turn again. And he has two favorite tokens. So the first thing you can do on your turn is to turn in two favorite tokens plus a card of your choice in exchange for another card. Second thing you can do is make a dedication. Well, I now have three pair. Two red, two blue, and two white. So I will get to take that, return these cards, and I'll have nine points for my end of game scoring. And then finally, I would take one of my lantern cards and maybe I do that. So I would get an orange and a green for placing that tile. Then I'll draw another lake tile so I have three. Now, play will continue until all lake tiles have been drawn and placed. Once the last tile has been placed, all players will get one more turn to be able to do the exchange and dedication. And then at the end, whoever has the most points on these tiles is the winner. Okay, so I think Lanterns is a really fun game. I love uh, the Lanterns. I, I don't know if they're Chinese lanterns or Japanese lanterns or if it even makes a difference, but I like them in real life and I like them in the game. I think the uh, components are great. Uh, these lake tiles are, are beautiful and you know when you're setting up that lake in front of you with all the different lantern tiles, it really looks nice. The lantern cards are vibrant. Uh, the tokens are, are a good quality as well. So visually, I find the game very appealing. And I think that the theme of it works really well with that lake and the lantern tie, uh, uh, cards that you get uh, really has a great feeling to it. And I think the gameplay is also solid as well. There's some 
good strategy in there. You have to pay attention to what your opponents are doing so that uh, you can make sure that you're going for the most valuable set cards. And the game is easy to teach. It plays well with two players, it plays well with four players, and people pick up on it pretty easily. And most of the people I've played with really enjoy the theme as well. So uh, for those reasons, I'm giving this game an 8 out of 10. A uh, very good game, solid game, and it's one I enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like below and to subscribe to our channel for other great reviews. Once again, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for visiting the Arch Gaming Network. For more great content, check us out at archgamingnetwork.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook.